Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Since Robin Brown became a major character on Sister Wives, fans have witnessed far too many of her outbursts. She had joined the family right before the premiere of the first season of the show. Fans witnessed her cunning and manipulative tactics throughout the years. As a result, polygamous Cody Brown gave her priority, and soon after, all other spouses departed due to his actions. Robin and Cody are having marital difficulties now that they are monogamous once more. It is disintegrating rapidly. As a result, viewers were shocked when they saw a specific scenario in the most recent episode. As a result, Robin Brown's drunken appearance on national television is the subject of intense conjecture. Was she? Fans of Sister Wives attack Robin for allowing Cody to put her above the kids. All three of Cody's ex-spouses are clearly content with their own lives. They are now in a much better place in their life and are glad they ended their multiple marriage. But since they left, Robin and Cody have been having a lot of difficulties. The latter also needed to focus on re-establishing positive relationships with his children, but he failed to do so. Cody said in one episode that his marriage to Robin was destroyed by a lot of gossiping and the brainwashing of his children. Instead, he preferred to concentrate on making amends with her rather than the kids. Robin complimented him rather than urging he should go after the children. As her manipulative side continued to surface, fans were incensed. They also think she became quite inebriated in a recent show. Is this accurate? Sister Wives Did Robin Brown have a breakdown after drinking? Many things are being revealed in the latest season of Sister Wives. The difficulties Cody and Robin are facing in their marriage is one of them. The plural family would come together for major holidays like Christmas in the past. Unfortunately, following the family breakup, this was no longer the case. It turns out that Janelle, Mary, and Christine were off on their own. As a result, Robin and Cody were alone with their children during the festivities. It caused the former to respond in a worrying way. She spent a long time having a breakdown on the bathroom floor. This was seen in the final minutes of the most recent program. Fans believed Robin was intoxicated at the time after witnessing such a strong reaction. However, there isn't any hard proof of it. Some believe Robin's appearance of exhaustion was due to her staying up at strange hours rather than any suspected alcohol consumption. For those who are unaware, Mormonism forbids drinking. However, as previously stated, these are only ideas circulating online. Some claim to have witnessed Cody leaving a grocery shop with beer cans and speculated that he and Robin might be closet drinkers. Many think that Robin may be using her appearance of tremendous sadness and distress as a ploy to control the family and leave them for Christmas. Cody Brown, the star of Sister Women and the patriarch of a failing multiple marriage arrangement, has faced harsh criticism for his treatment of his women ever since the show's premiere. Because of his preference for Robin Brown, his fourth wife, the spouse of four partners at the time and an astounding 18 children is seen as the show's antagonist. The dynamics of the home began to change once Robin and her kids moved in, as Robin's fellow spouses believed she was treated differently than the others. Christine was the first to divorce Cody, and in the years that followed, Mary Brown and Janelle did the same. Robin was the only person remaining in Cody's camp once the arrangement, which was supported by religious beliefs, collapsed. Robin wasn't happy with the status of their relationship and voiced her displeasure with the very awkward dynamics after the multiple divorces. Even though she was seen as the favorite wife and got the most attention in Sister Wives season 19, Cody is unquestionably the main character in the drama. Even if Robin contributed significantly to the family's sorrow, the final surviving wife, Robin, doesn't think Cody is committed to their marriage. Cody obsesses over the past and seizes every chance to destroy the women who abandoned him. Robin and Cody's happiness has been hampered by this lingering tension and bitterness. When his resentment of his ex-wives interferes with his relationships with the couple and his kids, the poisoning begins to go too far. Cody gave serious thought to missing the wedding of Logan Brown, his eldest kid. He reasoned that his ex-wives would cause discomfort in the setting. In a confessional Cody said, the reason I suggested I shouldn't go is just all the hate that I'm getting from family members. Cody quickly named the family members while avoiding responsibility, adding, mostly just all the talk from Christine and Janelle. After a divorce, tensions and animosity are normal. 
but it is unacceptable to let that destroy family ties. Early in season 19, Robin opened up about her relationship troubles. She acknowledged that because of the other wife's absence, the relationship was in the worst place it had ever been. Robin is worn out from juggling Cody's mentorship during the divorces, maintaining their marriage, and Cody's feelings of inadequacy. Given the amount of strain she is under, it appears like another divorce is unavoidable. He doesn't know who to blame, himself or one of the other wives, Robin said, clearly fed up with the situation. Cody has struggled to accept responsibility for his deeds. When Ariella Brown, the youngest daughter, clung to Cody's leg during a visit, he snapped. The young girl pitched a fit, pleading with her father to stay with her. Robin should pull the girl away from her, Cody cried. His behavior and lack of apology infuriated the audience. Regretfully, this is just one of many instances where Cody places the responsibility on his spouses rather than his emotional intelligence. As previously said, when tensions increase, Cody is not afraid to point the finger. Cody confesses to having a victim mentality and extreme paranoia, which has caused him to lose faith in Christine and Janelle Brown. The women, he believes, are trash-talking him to his kids. Cody has disconnected from his kids and refused to give them access to family information because he is certain that the only thing that could make them hate him is false information from his ex-partners. Regarding this change, Christine Brown has been vocal, asserting that his lack of responsibility is an indication of his insecurity. Cody won't take responsibility. Cody is preoccupied with protecting himself since he feels cornered and upset by his family's situation. I think he's trying to find fault because he's not liking things happening in his life, Christine says again. It's far simpler to blame others around him than to acknowledge that his wives and kids have left him because of his shortcomings. Cody hasn't done much to be close to his kids because his relationship with his wives is getting worse. Devastated by the loss of the previous family dynamic and under the strain of mediation, Robin has been pleading with the father to visit his kids. The children have lost faith in a father figure who is involved and present as the intervals between visits increase. It's not normal to see Cody smiling because of everything that's been going on with the family, Robin says, expressing her desire to see her husband grin once more. The household is becoming more depressing every day, and Robin appears to be paying the price for the slow rift. I think Cody should be camping out on their doorsteps, Robin says, pleading with Cody to restore his relationship with his kids. Christine and Janelle have also disclosed that their kids feel abandoned. Cody would have to own up to his faults and put in a great deal of effort to undo the harm caused by his absence. This seems improbable. Robin's needs are neglected in the midst of the drama, emotional upheaval and treachery. Robin, who was undoubtedly Cody's favorite wife during the multiple marriages, would never have spoken negatively about her husband. She says a lot about her husband and how miserable she is. She appears to be approaching her breaking point. Open communication and everyone's willingness to own up to their mistakes are the only ways the couple and the rest of the family can move on and become independent. He must alter his behavior if he hopes Robin will continue to be a committed partner. It remains to be seen if he would be prepared to make this sacrifice. Sister wives Cody is under pressure. Cody is unable to acknowledge his role in the breakdown of his family ties due to widespread criticism, but his current wife is bearing the brunt of the fallout. Cody must alter his behavior if he hopes to keep Robin around. Their relationship's future is at stake. There have been a lot of crazy rumors over the years that Sister Wives has been shown. The Browns are addressing some of the strange rumors in the most recent episode of the TLC program. After Michael T. Brown's new twins were born, the family specifically shared information regarding labor and breastfeeding. Michael T. Brown has a baby. Michael T. Brown is the daughter of Christine and Cody Brown. Recently, Michael T. and her husband Antonio Tony Padrone welcomed Ace and Archer, twin sons, into the world. Sister Wives' 19th season features the family. It was challenging for Michael T. and Tony to involve the fractured family in the pregnancy and delivery process. The twins' arrival is something the couple is looking forward to. Although Michael T. Brown is open about her experience after giving birth, not all of her family members share her views. Michael T. discusses some of the strange customs surrounding childbirth in the Brown family in the most recent episode of the TLC series Sister Wives. The show's October 13th episode reveals that Mrs. Brown ate her placenta after giving birth to twins Ace and Archer.
The placenta is consumed by the Browns. Michael T. Brown is shown talking about the birth with her parents, Robin Brown and Cody Brown, while accompanied by her spouse and kids. She tells her parents that eating the placenta after delivery has health advantages. According to Michael T., the placenta is essential for acquiring nutrients after birth. The ingestion of placenta after birth was debated by the family. Michael T. claims that it has helped her postpartum and that she is doing great. It helps like crazy, Robin added, particularly with postpartum depression. Michael T. Brown has had her placenta encapsulated and says that, so far it's helped a lot, since Ace and Archer started eating it. After one of her children was born, Robin disclosed that she also ate her placenta. Mary Brown opposes the idea of eating the placenta after delivery. Mary finds the procedure disgusting and doubts its effectiveness. When questioned about this procedure during her interview, Mary responded, the whole placenta thing, no. She added that although she heard people say it's really healthy, she finds it pretty disgusting. No no in no manner form or form. Christine Brown stated that she initially thought it was disgusting to eat the placenta, but she said that she would have done it in a heartbeat if she had known about eating your placenta, encapsulated placenta. The pros and cons of eating the placenta are still being researched, and it is a contentious choice. In the Brown family, there is also a long-standing legend that they breastfeed each other's kids. Christine Brown is questioned about this rumor during a confessional. Christine confirmed that the notion is untrue, saying, So, there's this rumor that in the church, a lot of the sister wives would sit around and breastfeed and swap kids around. That's disgusting, she said. Many of Cody Brown's other children regarded Mary Brown as a second mother. Christine's tale was different from Mary's. And that was something that was kind of medically necessary at the time, Mary added, adding, I actually breastfed one of our kids that was not my own child. However, it wasn't something we did frequently for enjoyment or only to laugh. The idea of nursing another mother's child did not disgust Janelle Brown. I've never breastfed another baby, she stated instead. I never drank enough milk. She couldn't provide it for another child who wasn't her own, so it wasn't a question of whether she agreed with it or not. Robin Brown admitted the rumor was accurate. In our culture, women would breastfeed each other's babies, she remarked. It's not like they played musical babies, she explained, adding that it was done to help other mothers and babies. I've seen it plenty of times, absolutely, she said. How do you feel about the strange traditions the Browns follow after giving birth? Tell us in the comments below. Watch Sister Wives every Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time this season to stay up to date on all things Brown. Robin Brown, star of Sister Wives, is expressing gratitude to her husband, Cody Brown, for prioritizing her over his kids. Many fans were incensed by this, which happened in the Sunday, October 6 broadcast. He frequently makes everything about himself or his surviving wife. He has now elevated it to a new level, and Robin is the only one who is pleased. For further information, continue reading. Robin Brown applauds Cody for prioritizing her over children. Robin Brown is the only one who needs to be satisfied and given the right treatment. Cody Brown is alluding to Robin when he states that the ladies should treat their sister wives fairly. Christine Brown Woolley, his third wife, never made him feel comfortable around Robin, his fourth wife. According to Cody, Janelle Brown ultimately followed in Christine's footsteps, and they were never accepting of her or her kids. The two spouses felt Cody gave preference to Robin and her kids over them in their own, Therefore this was not the case. Robin and Cody were the only members of the multiple family remaining when the OG three wives eventually left. In addition, a large number of Cody's original children turned away from him. He felt that the relationship needed to be repaired because they had been harsh and cruel to Robin. Furthermore, he believed that the rupture between him and his children was brought on by their moms and a great deal of gossip. He never examined his own behavior or deeds. Robin attempted to get Cody to connect with his kids in the most recent episode, but he resisted. Cody ultimately stated that he was more concerned with keeping his marriage with Robin intact than anything else because the drama with his kids had taken a toll. According to him, it has harmed their marriage more than it has themselves. She went on to express her gratitude for his desire to keep their marriage intact. A TikTok was created right away dissecting the entire scene and pointing out that Cody and Robin never supported the children. Logan Brown's high school graduation, 
where Robin was running late and Cody spent much of his time on his phone pursuing her, was one particularly memorable scene. Cody's narcissism. Sister Wives viewers were enraged by Cody Brown's assertion that he loved Robin Brown more than his connections with his kids. Many fans had a lot to say about the scenario as a whole, not just the couple. He enjoys Robin's loyalty to him, but I don't sure he even loves her. He would sooner alienate his whole family than acknowledge that he or Robin did anything wrong. Face with rolling eyes. He had no idea Isabel's age at her 18th birthday celebration. Since Cody was shown to be a narcissist in season 11, it makes sense that some people believed he only loved himself. Robin is really appreciative of everything he says and does, and he didn't even seem ashamed. How did you feel about Robin expressing gratitude to Cody at that very moment? Was it typical Robin, or was it tacky? Tell us and tune in to TLC's Sister Wives Sundays. Regarding her youngest son, Gabriel, Sister Wives star Janelle Brown has a very special message to offer. Despite the family's difficult year, Janelle is adamant about having a joyful celebration with her son. See what she posted by reading on. Gabriel's birthday is celebrated by Janelle Brown. Janelle Brown pledged to spend more time with her kids when she lost her son Garrison in March. The TLC personality wishes to cherish every moment she spends with her five surviving children. Garrison was quite close to Gabriel. According to police accounts, Garrison's body was discovered by his younger brother after he passed away. Gabe may be struggling because this is his first birthday without his older sibling. Janelle made the decision to highlight her youngest boy and give him a special internet shout-out. Fans of Sister Wives wanted to commemorate him since they love him so much. Happy birthday to my Gabriel at Gay Brown, who is 23 years old. Janelle posted on her Instagram account. A collection of pictures and videos of her youngest son were sent. You are such a unique and vibrant child. I adore you so much. I hope you have a great celebration today. The birthday greetings were repeated by Janelle's fans, who also had many kind things to say about the young man. Instagram users posted, Happy birthday to a child I've never met, but I know that having him in the world makes it better, brighter, and wiser. Party popper, party popper, party popper. Even though we don't see the kids very often these days, Gabe's emotional intelligence, kindness, and tenderness were always evident when he was on screen. You've produced some excellent children. To a very remarkable young man, happy birthday. More men like you who are able to display their emotions and communicate them are needed in this world. I wish you the happiest possible celebration day. Gabe, happy birthday. Party popper. The Sister Wives star makes the most of her life. Janelle has more time to spend with her friend Christine now that her kids are grown up. The two women had a great time together at Us Weekly's Reality Stars of the Year Gala. Even better, Robin Brown and Cody were nowhere to be seen. Numerous Instagram users commented on Janelle and Christine's appearance of happiness and health. Their physical and emotional health has undoubtedly improved after leaving polygamy. Fans may probably anticipate additional images and videos if the family gathers to celebrate Gabriel's birthday. Are you thrilled that Janelle posted a charming homage to Gabriel's birthday? After a trying year, are you glad to see the family getting better? Leave a comment with your ideas. To stay up to date with the Sister Wives cast, continue to follow TV shows Ace Online. Watch new season 19 episodes on TLC every Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.